Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. So sorry for the long pause, um, but um, I think you all knew, or many of you knew, that I was getting a new pup. Uh, and I do have her, and she's lovely. Her name is Midge, and she's a Shetland Sheepdog, or Sheltie. And uh, she's upstairs being taken care of by Mr. Wendy's Journal Adventure <laughs> at the moment. Because uh, she's, when you have a new pup, you need to watch them 100% of the time. So that's what I've been doing. Um, haven't done my video with Julia, as I had mentioned, uh, my granddaughter. Uh, she is going to be doing a, a video with me, but I, I'm going to because I want to avoid any of the YouTube um, restrictions for children's content. I'm actually just going to share that with family. So I apologize for that. The more I read about uh, children's content, the more I thought I'm just going to be safe and not release it to everyone because there are some very important uh, and strict restrictions. So I am here today. Um, happy New Year, first of all. Happy, happy New Year. Um, I'm here for the initial kickoff to 2022 collaboration. And this is a fabulous collaboration that's been um, put together by Corey Dahman. And she's uh, creating with scraps. And she, on YouTube, and she does some really, really beautiful things. Uh, so there's a lot of us who are taking part. I know that there's myself and Gail. Hi, Gail. And Tracy. Hi, Trace. Um, Sue from Paper Inspirations. Hi, Sue. And Marley from Marley's Design. Marley Design. Um, I'm not sure if there are more, but those are the ones I am aware of currently. And there is a participant hashtag, which is hashtag initially you. 2022 and I will put that down um, in the comments so that you can see the hashtag and you can follow it on some people are going to be doing some posts on Instagram etc so the premise is that we would all do a video on New Year's Day so that there'd be some fun content for folks and um, that we would uh, there are a few prompts for us potentially to talk about or share uh, one thing that I'm um, asked to do is that we're supposed to work on something or have something in our make that has our initial or initials. So for me, the initial I have is W that I'm going to use for Wendy, and I'm going to use washi. So I have my my little tray of washi. I have more washi than this, but this is, I think, all that I'm going to need to use. And I thought that I would make uh, one of the, my first uh, very popular videos, and it was three years ago, was a little pocket that for your journal that also has a uh, little pad of paper. So what I've done is I've cut, these are scraps of um, paper, Tim Holtz paper. They were end pieces that I didn't use and so I cut them for, to four inches wide and they're 12 inches long. So um, you'll need one of those. I've made some uh, little notebooks to put in this and all I did was I cut I cut my paper to three and a half inches wide so that I knew it wouldn't be too wide for what I'm making. And I just sewed on either side because I'll probably tear down based on what I need. And I did that because, as you know, I can only video for about 30 minutes with my current recording um, set up. So I just wanted to make sure I had enough time for that. So I've sewed and prepped those. Um, we, will be using, uh, we will be using a little... Um, Gosh, uh, sorry. I'm going to get rid of, <laughs> get rid of, cut out a bunch of these because I, I'm going to be doing a, a toggle closure for these little books. And I tend to put three together, apologies for the noise, three together to make a nice uh, thickness um, for um, the toggle. So I'm just going to take my needle and I'm just going to. I hope I'm on screen, and I know you probably, I wonder if you can even see that. I hope so. So I hope you are all well. We're doing great. Uh, got to have family around for the season, which was fabulous, uh, because we didn't have that uh, opportunity last year. So there's one, and it's just three stuck together. Um, and I'm just going to do that so that they're well and truly stuck before we get stuck in with the making. Pardon me. I was out with Midge uh, just on the front yard. 
kind of chasing her around and getting her tired. And uh, now I'm a little bit, my nose is a little stuffy, so I apologize for that. It's nothing to worry about. So I'm doing this because I have three cut out here. Whether or not we get to make three, I do not know. And how I'm going to use washi in this, I'm not sure. I haven't really thought about it too much, but you can use washi almost anywhere. So I'm going to set this on there so you can see them there. Okay. So, um, and some of the prompts um, was super that Corey sent some wonderful prompts for us to think about um, what, um, I'm just thinking about what side I want. I, well, that'll be upside down though. Do you like that? Is that too light, do you think? Or do we like the stripe better? I think I might like the stripe better. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, one of the things that... Um, I'm just eyeballing this, guys. And, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll put a link to my original video, which I haven't watched. But I'm sure, um, seeing as how it was three years ago, uh, it won't be any more advanced than what I am right now. But, you know. Uh, so, I'm just going to do that like so. And what I need to think about is I need to, I want this to come down. Oh, I should have thought about, that's okay. Um, how wide, let's see this is all upside down, so I'll just have to cover, cover it a little bit as well. And the other thing I didn't do is I didn't poke my, let's pull this out, it hasn't glued down yet. See, this is what happen when, happens when you don't think ahead, and I didn't. So, just rewind, and I'm just going to stick in here. So yeah, the, one of the things that Corey asked us to think about adding in the video was what our, um, if, we, if we do a word for the year, what that might be. I do do a word for the year, and my word this year, which is probably like, sounds, it's going to sound a bit like a cop-out, I'm sure, but my word for the year is journal. I have spent so much time in the last couple of years making journals uh, that sometimes I forget to journal. So I just put that through there. You could ink it if you're, if you're into inking. And then that's going to be, there we go. That works much better. And I don't need to make that pocket quite so deep. Let's put my glue on there. I always feel like I'm rushing. It's that half hour that I have that gets me feeling that way sometimes. So, um, yeah. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to put a a little eyelet grommet there. Uh, and what I want to do is, I think what I want to do is put some, oh, this is so beautiful, put some washi. Since we're doing washi, let's get some on here. Uh, and this is great because this is going to cover anything that I have that's upside down. And I'm actually going to take that right to the bottom. I'm going to tempt you. This stuff, this particular washi is super sticky. Um, and it's, if I can find the shop, if the shop is still open that I got it from, I will link it below. I don't think it is. I think it's Bella's Bits and Buys, and I don't think she's open right now. I think she's just had a, a baby, so that's lovely, like super lovely. So that sticks really nicely, and the colors look great together. What else can we put here? Do we want to we want to try something like that? We might. I don't know if you guys can see what I what I'm looking at here. Oh, I've got this darker blue. This is also. Um, William Morris style. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to just tear off the top a little bit. So I want to just cover those bits. See, there's no reason why you can't decorate with washi. No reason at all. And I think that looks really nice. Just like that. 
and you'd never know they were upside down, would you? And we could take this one if we wanted, because some of this down here is upside down. And we could go like that, kind of get our tool and just push it underneath. There's no reason why we can't go around. And you know, you could sew around this as well if you wanted to. Okay, so now that I have that washi down and I've corrected my error about having everything upside down, I want to look at putting a little eyelet in here. And I'm just eyeballing the center. There we go. Get a little grommet out. We might only get a couple of these done in the time constraint. So do you guys do a word of the year or New Year's resolution? Did I say what my word was? I don't know if I did. Oh my gosh. It's been too long since I've done my videos. So my word for the year is journal. I know. They're like, well, come on. You make journals. But I don't always take the time to actually journal. I'm just going to take this. I don't have my rounding tool right with me. So I'm just going to take that coin, or it's actually a, a dangle. I could have drawn around it, but I'm living dangerously. Um, so it's journal. I want to document more, and journal for me means uh, writing as well as documenting through art. So that is my plan, to do that. And look how nicely that just rounded it by doing that. Okay. So now that we have this done and that done, um, we could easily decide what size we want our uh, paper. So that's a tip that I'm <laughs> sharing is just to sew both sides of paper. I think I've got four or five in there. And I'm just going to tear like so because it doesn't. we don't want it to be perfect. But I do want it to come underneath there. And I'm going to tear a little bit more off. And you could tear them each individually um, so that you had different lengths showing of each. And I think that would be kind of cute as well. So I'm going to get my glue. And I'm just going to glue this last page down. Now I'm not suggesting that what I'm doing is better than the last one I did, <laughs> or the one I did three years ago. Um, but... Um, that was fun. I, I enjoyed um, pulling that idea together and I think I've seen lots of you make them as well, which for me always just tickles me to see that, you know, an idea is getting some traction. So that, in essence, is what we're making, just like that. Now we could have, I don't think I have enough give there to do a, let me see, where is my... Okay, so we give it a whirl. So we try and see if we can just do a little divot there. Oh, that worked out really well. And it went inside. So come on, divot. Did it come out? Well, it doesn't matter. So the other part that we'll do is I take a piece of jute and I just take it up that's more than I'm going to need but I'd say if you cut like a, a foot of jute you go in and then push the tails through then that will have that will lock it with this little piece of the jute there Just pulling it a little bit so that it, there we go. And the having the washi there actually stabilizes it a little bit more. And what do we want to use? I'm going to use this. This is, I think this is a Tim Holtz um, little item. I've had it forever. I think I bought it at, is it called Tuesday morning in, in the States? One time when I was down visiting my um, oldest son when he used to live down that way. Um, so, 
I try and hold it taut, which is easier said than done. Tie it up once and then another time. And then I'm going to cut it off. Okay. So this, in essence, is what we're making. And then we just have to go like so. We've got our little bit hanging. And like I said, I had a version of this that I made a couple of years, or three years ago. Um, you can put something inside. Let's see what I mean. There are... Um, I had... There we go. I know I had an old flower that I had preserved and then put in vellum. You can see that, but I'll set that in there. And we could decorate it. Well, let me see. How much time do we have? I can't tell. Be nice if I could read. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's been too long since I've done one of these. Okay, well, let's just very quickly maybe put another one together while I, um, yeah, while we try and, okay. So I'm going to just put this one a little bit shorter because I did. you don't need it to be quite so deep for the pocket. I'm going to do a couple of things earlier than I did before. First, I'm going to do this in the center, and then that actually will help me have a measurement for where I should put my little bit here. And when, if I put that in first, then that gives me, then I can look at folding uh, to be just above it. So I use my Tim Holtz picky tool and a brad. And we're going to attempt that. So yeah, Mitch is doing really, really, really well. Um, I'm quite impressed with her for being such a, a young pup. She's doing very well. She doesn't cry when she goes to into her crate at night. Uh, and she is sleeping through the night. So yeah, I do those steps first. Then I'm going to just put some glue down either side like that. Love it. And then we're going to fold it to just above, you know, it's about a half an inch above the top of that. Love those colors together. So there's that. And I think we did the washi first, didn't we? Let's see what other colors I have here. I have this with that's got some butterflies on it. Oh wait, I have another one that has butterflies that I quite love. Let's see this one. It's a matter of finding the end. That would have been a good thing to do before we started. So yeah, actually a good tip, which I didn't really follow when we started here, is to think about where where you might be doing, where you're going to be putting in a, um, a toggle and do that first. So, that does look nice just across there like that. I'm going to decorate this up really nicely. And you could put some glue on that if you want it to, um, like some, I often use a bit of uh, glue stick and that holds it down even more. But doesn't that look nice? It just gives it a finished sort of look. I'm not going to bother rounding the corners on this one. Um, what other... Oh, this is lovely. This is another William Morris. And I'm just going to set this over here because I like the looks of it. And fold it over like that. Very nice. I like, I like how that's coming together. And then I'm going to put a grommet in wrong side and I'm just eyeballing the center 
Ooh, that's quite low, but that's okay. Here's a little trick. If you put something lower than you want it, I recommend doing something like this. Sorry. Take your... Take your, if you have a whale's tail punch, or just whatever works for you. It doesn't have to be a whale's tail punch. Create a tab. So I'm going to create this tab. And I hope this is, this is an accident that happened. That is a, <laughs> I hope it's a teaching moment. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to set it all the way. No, no tab is going to be set down. If you know what I mean, it's not going to have a, a tab sticking out. It's going to go the completely on like that. And then I can take and put a new hole higher. And so basically I've reinforced it uh, by doing that. So you may have done that yourself before. Uh, you know, change uh, where you've had a hold. Wow. Just trying to get an eyelid out and it's become a thing. There we go. And you can ink that if you are someone who inks. And I'm just going to set this with my crocodile. And there we go. Coming together really well. Okay, and then I'm going to take a piece of string. I only leave, I said about 12 inches, so I'll only do about 12 inches this time. And I put the ends together and I go through the top because that gives me that little, it's almost like a little um, stopper with this, with the, there we go, just like that. And then, um, let's see, what do I have? There's that, see? And we're gonna do this, C for courageous. I'm gonna set those in like that. There you go, I'm pulling tight so that that is, we don't have a whole bunch of um, uh, sort of, so that the, the um, cord is straight rather than, you know, one side a lot longer than the other. Just pull that, cut it, and so that will easily go on there. But in the meantime, we have to look at our putting our little notebook up here. And I think if I go in here, I should be good. Keep these because we can use those for collaging. And let's see, yep, that's going to work. I like to keep my strings. If you don't, then you should, you you do you. You go ahead and, and um, cut them off. I think in my original one, I was, I had a lot more items prepared. Um, so it probably is a smoother video, but this one's more about just chatting and getting reconnected with you guys. So. There we go. There's that. Like so, which I think is terrific. And then we can set something in here. We can close it like that. We've got the two. Now, let me just see how much time I have to do a little bit of decorating. Okay, we're good. Let's see. What have I got here? I've got a little... This might be nice there because it's... um. I've got some linen that I stamped with a butterfly. And just pull out some of these threads. It'd be nice to be able to sew around this piece before I put it on, but like I said, I'm, I'm short on time. Actually, this will probably help me more. 
another tip, use your pokey tool to get underneath the thread and pull it like that. I like it when they look a little bit raw. There we go. So we could set that there or there. I think I'm going to put it over there. And the nice thing about um, using uh, art glitter glue, one of the nice things, first of all, it, it dries so quickly, but also it will glue on fabric. That looks very similar to that one, doesn't it? And this is a Tim Holtz butterfly, so I bet you, or moth, I bet you it is the same image. So that worked out really well. And then on this one, I think we need to, it would be nice to put on a, um, a floral or something like that. Let's see, what do I have for florals? I think some of these are... Ooh, I have some of these beautiful florals. Some are from books, but some of them are from my great friend, Tuke. Oh, I love this one. I think I want to use that one. <laughs> so I'm going to use that on here. And where is... Oh, here. I have this little, I made this a long time ago, and I have some nice um, labels in there, but which are fabulous, that I've just done with bags. I think this might be on, I don't know if this is on my channel or on the Graphics Fairy channel, because uh, I did this for a project when I was doing some things for them. Uh, so... There we go. Close that. Is that on? It is on sticky paper. I didn't even know I had done this on sticky paper before. Okay. I think I want to set this sticky paper. Be my friend. It's a bit crooked, but it's not too bad. What's kind of neat is that, I mean, that's kind of like a washi. Will it come off? So that I can make it straight. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all good. So I'm going to put this so that I like it when it touches, like the image that you put on touches the, um, the label. Uh, for me, it just creates a, a natural connection between them. So... So this is one of the things I want to do is to go back to some of my original projects and just do them again or redo them, rethink them for my current aesthetic. And currently I'm not doing any inking. It's just something I've, I have chosen to do. So look at that. Super cute. Like that's really cute. I like that a lot. So we've had washi, and this is actually kind of a washi too because it's on a, a, a sticker. And then there's this. What about a little tiny piece of washi on that? I think that might be kind of fun. Ooh, I like this. So let's take this washi. And I am going to use my glue this time. And I'm and I'm just going to, it's a very, very sort of transparent sea foamy green, but it looks so beautiful with that color down here. And I think to connect it in, I would also put a piece down here as well. I think that would be fun. And then we'll be done. I think I'm going to just set that down here. And then those colors play together a little bit better. There. So I'm just going to move all of this out of the way so we can get a better look before I say goodbye and before this clicks me off at 30 minutes or close to 30. So there's the first one we made. Just got a little something in there. Um, 
and this is the second one. Super easy, easy to do a bunch at a time. Uh, and then there's a the little pocket there. So thanks for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful New Year's Day. I hope, like me, you're going to be doing some making um, because for me, that just brings me joy. And I look forward to reconnecting. Um, I've got a few journals that I'm just finishing up. So I'll be back again in a week or so. Thanks, guys. Take care. Happy New Year.